Look, let me tell y'all about these 15 day good cleanse. Uh, and it didn't Holy Spirit activate until... I was like, did you need me to do anything? Uh, can I help with anything? I'm not even qualified for. I'm not, I don't even have the credentials for, but, but God, you hear me? I, I was in my introvertness yesterday and I just didn't want to talk at all. Hey, I got some products to review from this company called At Now Reserve. Let me tell you a little bit about them. They're passionate about redefining beauty through premium vegan and cruelty-free nail care products. Their extensive collection of gel postures is crafted with precision, ensuring both exquisite aesthetics and a commitment to ethical beauty. I chose the beginner kit, which includes the lamp, the base, the coat, the top coat, remover, and two colors of my choice. Girl, y'all know I'm in an era of get somebody else to do it. But being that these were sent to me, I think I'll just try them out. I used to do my nails all the time until I started getting my nails professionally done and I've gotten lazy. But I think I'm going to try them out. And if you want to try them, please click the link below and get a 50% discount. Please try it out at Nail Reserve. y'all hey girl hey uh look let me tell y'all about these 15 day good cleanse um pills that i took if y'all don't know what i'm talking about look at the, look at my previous vlog go watch my previous vlog y'all all the way through all the way through i made it a little short but anyways y'all know i seen these pills off tiktok and i normally um i don't i mean i've ordered from tiktok shop but i always when i see it on uh, tiktok i order it from amazon so i order my pills from amazon it's the 15 day good cleanse girl if y'all don't like talk about boo boo, skip on passes. But anyway, <laughs> the first day I took it was Saturday, and I took it around eleven o'clock. I was just taking it just to see, you know. I was eating throughout the day, and it didn't Holy Spirit activate until five o'clock. And when it Holy Spirit activated, girl, <laughs> yeah. It worked the first day. Um, it took some, like I said, it took a minute to activate. Um, and when it did, I went to the bathroom probably three or four times and then it was done. The next day, I decided to read the instructions. <laughs> and it said, take uh, before bedtime. I'm like, take before bedtime? So... After I got done eating and all that stuff, um, I ended up taking it around, let's say, 5-ish. And then it didn't start working until, girl, it didn't start activating, Holy Spirit activating until 12 o'clock last night. Y'all know I had to get up um, today, this morning, it's uh, 5.50. 12 o'clock last night, I was going to the bathroom every freaking hour up until I got up. At 5.50. And at 5.50, I went again. Now, I don't think I could be able to, I don't think I'll be able to do it this week, like during work. Because, I don't know. It's, I don't know. Being that it's the second day, like I said, I'm only on the second day. And... If I time it right, but the thing is, I don't know when, for those two days, you know, it took, I took one at 11 o'clock, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, it was like four, five to six hours before it activated. So, I don't know if I take it today, I can take it around two I, I kind of don't want to trust it while I'm, you know, at work. I think I'll just do it on the weekends. Like on Friday. I'll start Friday. And then I'll just stop on Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. Because I ain't going to be blowing, nobody, blowing up nobody's bathroom. And sometimes I can't find no damn 
the one stall bathroom that's open. So I think I think I'm just gonna do it on the weekends. But you do hear like this little rumbling and stuff like like when you you know when it's about to be activated. You hear me? You know. <laughs> but anyways, y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris. If you're new here, hey girl, hey. Subscribe, like, comment, share, and do all of that, y'all. Like you have lost respect for me Acting up in front of all my friends, oh no I don't like your tone, I like the games you play Don't like the games you play I already know that you Talk behind my back, I already know that you Didn't know my friend, already know that you Second guess my mindset But let me just tell you that I already know All right, y'all, we are in Old Navy, and they have a 50% off sale. Um, I picked up these track pants. I think they're with the DIY leg. And, child, I went to the sales associate how much these were, because they didn't have a, um, a tag to scan, and they're $7.99, so I'm about to try these on. Okay, y'all, these are a real big no. These are super big. These are an extra large. I, I forget that Old Navy runs kind of big. And I, don't, I think they had like a 3X in just extra large. So, that sucks. Okay, y'all. Girl, I had to get from out of there. <laughs> girl, I still have the BGs. You hear me? My stomach is bubbling. Those pills work. You hear me? And like I said, I only took two days work. <sighs> um. <sighs> my, yeah. Old Navy had like a 50% off sale. I think I said that earlier. I don't know if y'all heard me. But um, they had a 50% off sale. <clears throat> there are some cute. They had like some really, really cute wide leg, different color pants. But they were in a 3X. I'm like, damn. Normally, I would ha they would be they would have cute stuff in a smaller size. Now I have cute stuff in a bigger size. Give me an extra large. <clears throat> Wish those pants that I had were an extra large, but I could not wear those. They were cute though for seven dollars. I was like, oh, these go good with my tennis shoes. <clears throat> and then they had like tank tops on sale for six dollars. I'm like, I can go get a tank top from from Walmart for three dollars. So. I don't know if I if my stomach wasn't bu bubbling that bad, I probably would have stayed and you know tried some stuff on and looked around a little bit more. But girl, I need I got to go home. I ready to go home. What that little girl said? No, I'm going home. I remember from my previous walk the other Walmart did not have all these options they only had this one and a black one Ooh, I 
And they're only, like I said, they're only $7.98, but I do need the black one. This would be cute with some jeans. Oh, look how cute these shoes are. These are the no boundaries. They're kind of cute. Then they have them in green. Child, what am I trying to pull? It is Tuesday afternoon and I just got done with Walmart. I had to get some some travel size toiletries that I was supposed to get the other day. If y'all see in the previous vlog, I didn't go in the previous vlog. I went to Walmart, but I went to the neighborhood Walmart and they didn't have the, the travel size toiletries or whatever. I got them. Girl, I started picking up a whole bunch of extra stuff. Dude. This is a whole bag of toiletries. <laughs> I got the Lysol wipes. I got the booty wipes. <laughs> I got the disinfectant spray. I got a set of me and Keon set of fill and CeraVe whatever moisturizer and uh, toothbrushes, toothpaste, lotion, Vaseline, deodorant. I hope that's all I need. I uh, got Joey some shampoo because I'm not, Kiana probably won't. Will she wash her hair? She normally will go like one or two days without washing her hair because when she straightened it, it'll last. Being that we're going to Colorado, you, you know. And, y'all, yeah, I told y'all, the other Walmart that I went to in the previous vlog, they only had the black and the, um, is that zebra print? Whatever color print that is black and beige. They only had that one. That's the one I got. And they had these in here. But the black one they did not have in my size. So I just got that one. I don't even know how they fit. I might need to try them on. Because I'll probably have to take them back. But I am. I am. I am. I am ordering Subway. I'm putting an order in. Make sure I got everything. And by the time I make it home, oh hell, by the time I gotta start over. If y'all remember back in, I think it's two vlogs ago, I was talking about this certain um, fax request that I was getting, and the woman called stating that she needs the patient a discharge summary and blah, 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 but the patient was still in-house, and she don't understand why the discharge summary hasn't been done, even though the patient is still inpatient. So I, I get a request yesterday stating that she needs the same thing. She needs the patient's discharge summary. Well, the patient has been discharged, but the discharge summary hasn't been done yet. So I faxed the request back and said the patient, I mean the uh, physician hasn't dictated a, um, the discharge summary yet. 
that was yesterday and Monday. I faxed it twice. The patient's discharge summary hasn't been done yet. The physician hasn't started on the uh, di dictation or anything yet. I faxed that right back to, I wrote it down and faxed it in. Here's another re request and it's from yesterday afternoon because this was on my desk. I guess my manager must have put it on my desk before she left. Stating that she needs the records from. Let me let me see if he's done the discharge summary because I am. Girl, I. <laughs> and then I also put on the on the request that I will fax the discharge summary as soon as it's available. I'm just not understanding. Just not understanding. Not only is she asking, asking for the... And then I also, last week, I, instead of me sending a discharge summary because it wasn't ready, I just gave her the records... Um, yeah, I just gave her the patient's records. I didn't give her the discharge summary. And now she's asking for the records. What you do with the records that I sent, that I gave to you the first time? Girl, I'm like, look, I'm about to write on this sheet. No, the discharge summary isn't ready. <sighs> and then she got the wrong dates on here. Girl. This the shit I'm talking about. Yeah, she got the wrong dates on here. I don't understand what she... Girl. Let me just send her what I feel like she need because she ain't going to stop until she get what she want to freaking <sighs> but anyways y'all let me print this stuff out go upstairs get my charts <sighs> fill my water bottle up um first let me finish my coffee But yeah, girl, it's just, oh, girl, you don't need all them notes. I'm just going to give her, uh, the last progress notes, the H and P, which is history and physical, the console notes, the last console notes. And that's it because everything is on the notes and everything. So, I...
Hey y'all. How are y'all doing? It is hump day. I don't know if I introduced uh today is Wednesday. Um I'm on my lunch break, child. And yesterday I went to Subway and I got us a sub. I got Joey a foot long and I got me and Kiana um a six inch, which I thought, child. When I got home and looked in the bag, they all foot longs. <laughs> I was like, okay, man. Kim I said, well, that's our lunch for tomorrow, Chris. I was like, I know. They didn't charge me for it, so I was like, okay, well, it is what it is. Let's just eat this subway town. And I'm, I think they, she made them a second, put onions on mine because I've, I've been smelling them since yesterday. Um, yeah, it's very strong. But yeah, girl. I had on lunch, um, child, yesterday, for the past two nights, I don't know if it's a cricket outside our window, but girl, that damn thing keeping me up at night. I mean, I can go to sleep and sleep good, but then next thing you know, I'm hearing this dang on cricket, and it's driving me crazy. Kiana mentioned yesterday, she was like, there must be a cricket outside my window because it is, I said, you, you do? She was like, yes. And Joey just can sleep right through it. He can um he likes to go to bed with the TV on and I I don't like no noise when I go to sleep. I want it to be dark and I want it to be quiet. But then this damn creek why the crickets come out at night? Lord. Oh he kept me up all last night. I went to sleep real good last night and then yeah, she put onions on this. Yeah. I don't know if she didn't look at my, um, uh, cause I ordered it offline. She got onions all up in, oh, I just hate the smell of onions. And then when they get on your finger, you can never get that smell off to me. Child, I'm just gonna have to eat the onions. Mm, mm, mm. Mmm. Mm -mm. So good. I got the cold cup. But I got on that, what is it, the cheese herb Italian bread? I don't know. Some kind of bread. Um, banana peppers, pickles, cucumbers, um, mayo, mustard, and the peppercorn ranch. Um, pepper jack cheese and shredded cheese, salt and pepper, vinegar and oil, that stuff. And of course, onions. I was going to add the, I added the bacon, I guess they didn't get that either. Mm. Joey said he was going to, um, get some spray so he can spray around the house on the outside and the inside. Because I can't stand this sh <laughs> Oh my God. And people like to sleep through that too. Like sleep to that. Like that nighttime um, music or that nighttime stuff that they have on YouTube where you can you can um, search for it in the search bar or whatever and you can play it all night. Like the cricket sound, the the nighttime sound. I don't like to go to sleep to that kind of stuff. I, mm -mm, I need to be quiet. You know what I mean? We do have um, salad dressing, right?
All right, y'all. I just left out of. Oh, child. I just left out of Walmart. I feel like I stay in Walmart, child. Stay in Walmart. I had to go and get uh, salad stuff. Because Joey made ribs or something. I don't know what else he made. So, <laughs> I go in there to get um, salad stuff. And then I was like, oh, let me go ahead and get laundry stuff. And, oh, what album? So, yeah, girl, we are off of work. Thank God. I don't know if everybody eat their Wheaties at lunchtime and want to work after lunch but baby i was busy after lunch child i mean damn from the phone calls to all the faxes and then um my boss well my manager ended up leaving early where am i going yeah she ended up leaving early and somebody called and she was like, may I speak to such and such? I was like, she just left like a, ooh, a minute ago. Had you called two minutes ago? Girl, you would've got him. She would've answered the phone. <laughs> and she was like, oh man, I she uh, I sent her an email, some requests to her email, and she called me back, but I was in a meeting, and oh my gosh, and Lord, I mean, just saying all this stuff to make me feel sorry for her, so. I was like, do you need me to do anything? Uh, can I help with anything? <laughs> and she was like, oh, really? That'll be great. Um, I said, did you want to just fax the uh, request to me and I can handle it or whatever? Sure, thank you so much. And just being grateful and gracious and all that. Child. I'm like, <laughs> you know, I don't mind helping. That's fine. I don't mind helping. You know, you have to put on your professional voice. And girl, when she sent the fax, I'm thinking it was just one fax. She sent facts. She sent four facts with different people for medical records. But luckily, um, all they needed was all she needed was like um, the consult. So I had to fax that many. I had to pull up so many records and fax it. Golly, what's going on? But yeah, it, it's been busy. <clears throat> but we made it through. We made it through another work day. Yes, ma'am. Tomorrow is Thursday. Should I go this way? It's 5.30. I be... <laughs> do y'all ever do that? Uh, a certain way? Like y'all will go a certain way or dodge a certain certain way due to the traffic. That's how I am. I'm like, should I go this way? But if I go this way, it's going to be trap. I know this traffic is going to be crazy. But if I go this way, I'm going to end up catching a train. See? Speaking of the train, there it goes. So we're going to go this way and just catch the traffic, I guess. It's all the same. But anyways, I wanted to stop by the thrift store today. I want. I needed to stop by Target today. But I'm like, they waiting on my salad. <laughs> I know they hungry. They waiting on my salad. So I'm just gonna go home and I may I may stop by Target in a thrift store tomorrow because I think what I'm gonna do instead of wearing those if, if y'all seen the previous vlog y'all know I bought these khaki wide leg pants and I was gonna wear them to the funeral but I think getting a black pair of wide leg pants will look more I don't wanna say funerally. I don't know but I think I want black instead of wearing those um, khaki colored ones so that's what I, I was gonna go to uh, Target for <sighs> and then the Walmart I just left it was a neighborhood Walmart so it wasn't like the actual super center Walmart so they don't sell clothes or whatever but yeah I guess I'll do that tomorrow Cause I don't want them to have, have to wait to eat. Cause that's the only thing they're waiting on is my salad that I need to fix. <sighs> um. And yeah, girl. I haven't had any other um job interviews. Ooh. I haven't had any other job interviews or whatever, but I have been looking. I have been putting in uh, applications and all that. Um, I've been putting in applications that I'm not even qualified for. I'm not. I don't even have the credentials for. But but God, you hear me? But God. 
um, I'm not gonna just move so quickly to the point where I move too quick and I end up not liking that job so I'm gonna take my time with it I'm not gonna uh, go with any kind of contract unless it's like a year-long contract I, I'm good with that but if it's like a three-month contract I ain't gonna mess with it cuz I, I, I mean I trust it but I don't trust it you know girl I hate this roundabout when I tell you I hate this roundabout you can get yourself roundabout you hear me but yeah the contract were, I don't know like I said it has to be like a month I mean a year long contract or at least a six month contract you know something that's secure like that other uh, interview that I had a couple of vlogs ago it was only like a three month contract and I'm like uh, yeah girl trying to get over you can kill yourself trying to get over you hear me gosh I hate this damn road and then don't nobody want to let you over thank you lady cause this man behind me just riding my ass But yeah, girl, um, the job search is still going on. Um, I think I said this before, um, there's nothing wrong with my job. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. It's, it's a chill vibe. I don't have any, like, it's not a stressful work environment like the other hospital that I just came from. I have little things that irritate me, but that's going to happen in every job. But, yeah, the PTO thing is just that's on my nerves you know I can't even build up no PTO what if I want to take a vacation I ain't got no damn PTO because I'm constantly using it for the census that's the main reason why the main reason why I'm looking for a job and then the other main reason is just because I want to be at home that's all <laughs> so um yeah girl we're gonna we're gonna keep looking we're gonna put keep putting our faith in God because apparently he want me to stay here for a little while and then, like I said, it's not bad. It's closer to home. Way closer to home. So, it is what it is, girl. Hey, y'all. Happy Thursday. Girl, I'm sitting in front of the workplace. I am tired. I am so tired today. Um, yesterday, after we ate dinner, girl, them ribs was so good. Joey made some ribs. Oh. I told him those were the best he's ever made them. They are. They were so good. I think he uh, he had them in a roaster till I think he said from nine till one thirty or two, and then after that he put it in a smoker, and then he made his own little barbecue sauce. And oh, girl, that was finger licking good. You hear me? That was so good. Oh my god, every uh, not everybody, but Joy and Kiana. We kind of tasted them at different times, but I didn't voice, we didn't voice all of our opinions until we sat down and ate. <laughs> and I was like, babe, these ribs taste a little tastier than, you know, the other times you made ribs. He was like, I know. He was like, babe, Kiana said the same thing. Kiana said, these are the best ribs I've made. I was like, yeah, these are good. Girl, that was a good old simple meal. You hear me? It was so good last night. I didn't want to eat too much because, child, y'all know I be trying to eat it every day so, like, the last day won't be so bad, but, yeah, I'm going to have a long night tonight if I want to get out of vlog tomorrow. Because last night I um, transferred all my videos to my laptop, and I was just transferring them and tried to like cut out the parts that I didn't want or whatever. But I didn't really just put my transitions in there. I didn't put the dates. I didn't put no music. So tonight's going to be a long night. I stayed up to around 10.30, 11 o'clock last night. And I'm tired. But anyways, y'all, I done went down a dog on TikTok rabbit hole again. Yeah. And this one is the clothes section. I've been seeing this. It's like a two-piece set all over social, all over TikTok, and they said it's so good, so good, so good. And I went to Amazon, and I seen the same actual, the same exact outfit, but um, 
they was wanting forty something dollars for it, but on the TikTok shop, it was twenty three dollars. So I ended up ordering it. Okay, I ended up ordering it. Actually, it was thirteen dollars and thirty cent for the set, but the shipping and handling is seven dollars and ninety nine cent. So I had so I'm paying, and then the sales tax is two dollars. So I paid twenty three twenty nine from TikTok shop. And it's supposed to come. It says it's supposed to be here Monday after uh, on the 29th. And that's going to be after our freaking trip. I kind of wanted to get it before the trip. But it says the 23rd through the 29th. So I'm praying that it comes on the 23rd or the 24th or whatever. I'm trying to find it. Come on, child. This service. Oh, my God. I'm so sleepy, y'all. I just... who This set right here. It's a bodysuit with some wide leg uh, jogger pants or whatever. And they look so cute. They got all different colors. I chose this color because I was going to wear them with my tennis shoes. So I'm praying that they, they come before... Oh, just please come Thursday morning. Please. <sighs> but anyways, yesterday, y'all, do y'all ever feel like... You just don't want to talk to nobody. And when you do, you just, you acting fake and just trying to get it over with. <laughs> Yesterday I felt that way. I felt like I just didn't want to be bothered. I didn't want to talk. Nothing against, I, I ain't have nothing against nobody, but I just didn't feel like talking yesterday. You probably really couldn't tell. But in my head, I'm like, why don't you just go away? <laughs> And it wasn't nothing. I was in my introvertness yesterday and I just didn't want to talk at all. <sighs> Shout out to my manager. <laughs> I know she probably like, girl, do this girl ever talk? It is like, I be in my own bubble when I'm at work. Like, I have my, my, my earbuds in. I listen to my show. And I do my work. I don't want to talk. I don't want people all up in my business. I just, nothing against her. She's cool. I mean, I like her a lot. I just, yesterday, I just didn't feel like it. I didn't feel like it at all. She was asking me about the, how the house was coming along. And, and it's like, yeah. And it's like, when she asked about, about the house, she kind of asked, all the time and it's like girl i told you we ain't decorating <laughs> we ain't doing no decorating right now until like after the funeral and you know joey get his mind right and all this stuff i and it's like she'll ask me that all the time it's like nothing against her like like i said she's just trying to be friendly and it's just me that that's in my introvertness introvert time i just don't want to talk Oh, I say little stuff here and there, but it's like I don't initiate the conversation with anybody. I I know I need to do better, but it's just like some days I just don't feel like talking. I just want to work and be in my own little world. That's all. Nothing against nobody. I don't dislike nobody. Everybody's cool. I, I just... Like I said, my introvertness get me sometimes. And it's just, yeah. I don't want to be social. Like today, we're having this little uh, 60s kind of celebration for something, child. And they are, they are serving us free food, which will be taco, I guess a taco salad or whatever. And you're supposed to come in your, your 60s attire and... And come to the cafeteria and be all friendly and social. Today, I don't feel like it either. <laughs> I'm going to go get my free food, though. You know, I ain't going to be rude. I, I'm never rude. You can, like I said, you can never tell that I don't want to be bothered. You can't. Unless you're just getting on my damn nerve. But you can't ever tell that I don't want to be bothered. Because my, my personality, you know, my personality is like my mom's. Very bubbly sometimes, sometimes. But like today, yesterday, I just my my brain was telling me no, I don't want to be bothered. <laughs> um, 
but I'm gonna pray about that thing. It's it's hard when I'm when you, when you're not an extrovert and you don't like when you don't like talking to people all the time and being around people all the time, and then you get somebody that do come and talk to you and want to be social. They don't get it, <laughs> and it's nothing that they're doing. It's just yeah, I can't explain it. Anybody that's introvert. Please put y'all thoughts in the comment. Do y'all want to be bothered all the time? Do y'all... I, I, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I think I just don't feel like talking. Okay, that's it. I don't feel like talking. <sighs> and especially when it's something like they're asking about my personal business. Like, I've never been the one to share like my personal personal business and then when they when people go and come and ask it's like <laughs> you know it's just like girl yeah I give them word, one word answers to the point where you know to stop asking, asking me these questions yeah I yeah <laughs> yeah girl I yeah, I be in my introvert, in my introvert bag. Okay, that's what I be. <sighs> but anyways, and I know it don't seem like I'm an introvert through the camera because y'all are y'all aren't here with me personally. I'm just talking to myself right now, you know. So it's a difference than actually physically being in front of people. But like I said, you would never tell that. Yeah. I don't need me saying it 50,000 times, but I am an introvert. And there are some days where I don't want to be bothered. There are some days where my social media, I mean, my social clock is ticking and I need to be alone. Joey gets it. When I'm in the house, uh, like on a Sunday, girl, y'all, sometimes I will pick up the camera and I will be in my room because my social time clock has its limits. I'm done for a couple of hours. Give me a few minutes. Give me a few hours and I'll be good. But yeah. I think it, it got even worse when I moved to Texas. <laughs> Being that I didn't know nobody. And yeah, it got worse when I moved to Texas. Because I kind of excluded myself from everybody. And just in my own little bubble. Family. I. I was just in my own, I'm just in my own little bubble, you know, I put myself in my own little bubble so I won't be stressed out with other people's uh, problems. It, it may be selfish, but sometimes you just, you, you just got to give your, yourself some time to release, relax, just be to yourself, you know, it, I can't even explain it, child. But, girl, I've been talking for 12 minutes. It's time for me to go in. All right, y'all. We just made it home. Well, I just made it home. I just changed my clothes or whatever. <sighs> when I tell y'all, today was a... I almost wanted to... Literally wanted to jump through the phone and choke this woman. I almost said some stuff that... <laughs> That would have gotten gotten me fired because she was pressing my buttons. Uh, yeah, today's over with. <laughs> Thank God. But um, girl, let me change my let me get my tripod, my other tripod. All right, y'all. But yeah, that lady was just. I can, I can uh, understand people get frustrated when they don't get their way. And I can understand people communicating that they're frustrated, but not in a demanding type of way. That woman, and she wasn't even a patient. She was a patient sister. Didn't have no POA, power of attorney, or nothing on file. But she wanted all this information. And she wanted it now. That's what she said. Call them. She wanted some records. She wanted some records from us. But her sister got transferred to another facility. And she claimed the medicine that we were giving them. That facility is not giving them 
given her for some reason because it, she don't think it's on a med list or whatever. I need you to call them right now. Girl, <laughs> Girl I said, uh, have you called them? And she was like, I called them, but then they said they won't be able to call me back until 9 o'clock. Well, ma'am, it's 8.45, which you got 15 more minutes. I, I took a deep breath. We had a conversation for a good five. I think she called around 8.35 or something. And we had a conversation for a good 10 minutes. And I was telling her, we when the woman got transferred to that facility, I guess, I don't know if they sent a, us a request or whatever. I didn't even look it up. But if they did send us a request, well, they had to send us a request to go by her med list. And um, whatever they asked for, we send, right? Like the med list, the patient's records, whatever, whatever. So she wanted me to call them. She actually wanted me to look in, in her sister's chart to see if we gave her that medication. Ma'am, you don't have power of attorney. I can't tell you nothing. <laughs> she, yeah. It, I, I've had people, you know, get frustrated and irritated and all that stuff. But uh, you need to call them right now. I, I kept saying, ma'am, you have to wait till they call it now. My voice was even shaking. I was just, I said, ma'am. You have to wait until she calls you back at 9 o'clock. She's not going to call me back at 9 o'clock because she has a meeting. Ma'am, I don't have anything to do with that. Well, you need ma'am, wait until she calls you back at 9 o'clock. And if they need more records, they will call me or send a request. Well, can't you just look on her uh, med list to see if y'all uh, giving her this medicine? No. You can't pull up the records that you gave to the facility? No, ma'am. So you mean you tell me you can't pull up the written note? It's not in front of me. <laughs> girl. I little girl. Mm -mm. <sighs> yeah, that was the kind of day I had today. I yeah, I after that, my day was just thrown all off. Everything was just irritating me. I told my manager about it. She was like, well, you did your part. I mean, we can give her records if she, I mean, we can't give her access to nothing or tell her anything over the phone. She don't have POA and this and that. And I was like, I know. She was like, well, don't worry about it. Girl. But anyways. Anyways, y'all, I ordered some, um, sheets of group of them because we have the ones we have the sheets on the green sheets on the bed now well what color is that lime or olive color sheets on the bed now from group group one and they are amazing they have a little side pockets where you can put your phone or your um or your remote so i ordered some more and i looked on pinterest to see what would go with my comforter set so I know my comforter said it's like a dark, rusty, or dusty rose or dark rose. Let me show y'all. I don't know why I just can't go out there, but I'm trying to show y'all the color scheme <laughs> that I like. Okay. So my comforter is this color. And I love this these colors right here. So I'm going to get... Um, like nude, a nude throw and some different color pillows like this, like color pink or whatever color it is and a nude pillow, different color pillows. But on Groupon, these look totally different. So I got this. I mean, it'll still go. It's not like a burgundy color, but I think it'll still go. I get like some, I seen some new like goldish kind of uh, curtains and beauty lights. I think I uh, I was vlogging that day and I should have gotten them. So I'm going to get those from Big Lights. Hopefully they still have them. 
and then I'm gonna get like a little, cute little rug, a throat, and some pillows. And then we were wanting to put like a, a chair and a table um, right by the dresser or whatever. We're gonna add a, a chair and a table in here also. So once I figure out where I'm gonna get all this stuff, and yeah, that's when I'm gonna um, do a little decorating. But I think. look all right yeah if I get like neutral what you call it nude color pillows and like a y'all yeah, seen the, the, the picture this is how I kind of want it but not the maroon because I thought those were maroon on the picture but they're not so whatever so So I need to now, um, I think I'm going to wash, I'll wait to wash these because I'm not going to put them on the bed right now. <sighs> but I am going to take this wig off and put on my headband wig until Sunday because I'm looking real busted and disgusted with this on. My hair is dirty and it's just, I can't curl it no more because it's so greasy and oily and yeah, so I'm going to take this wig off tonight, wash it, and wash my hair Sunday. And I'll just throw back on my headband wig. But yeah, y'all, I was just telling y'all about my day because that woman literally almost made me lose my shit. And if she called back and speak to my uh, my big boss, I I don't care. Because she was rude to me. Why couldn't I be rude to her? Girl. I don't say that. Oof. Yeah. Let me go pour my glass of wine. Um, make some more salad because we're going to have leftover ribs. Ribs. Talk to y'all in a minute.